We are Luca and Sara from You Live Everything in Wonder. After traveling the world with a truck camper, we returned to Italy when the pandemic hit. We converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels in only five weeks. We decided to take you on a breathtaking journey through hidden gems, beautiful villages, historical sites, lovely beaches in our own country. This week we are discovering two jewels in Val d'Orcia, an unspoiled and enchanting territory rich in beauty and history. Now, sit down, relax and enjoy the ride. Buon viaggio! Good morning, beautiful people! Welcome back to Liu Live Everything in Wonder. I'm Luca, she's Sara and welcome back to Van Life! <laughs> We are leaving Monte Argentario and we are going in mainland Tuscany. If you missed the previous video, go and check it out. Uh, we visit uh, Monte Argentario, that is a beautiful wild uh, peninsula here in Tuscany. Today we are going to visit a special place in Val d'Orcia, always in Tuscany, but we will leave the coast. If you are used to see our videos, we love exploring free hot springs. Uh, in the middle of nowhere. So today we are looking for one of them and uh, if you want to check our playlist uh, Liu and Hot Springs uh, you can check it up here and uh, you can see a lot of hot springs uh, in Italy, in uh, North America, Central America, South America. We visited in November, last November, the Saturnia hot springs, the Cascate del Molino, that are really famous, they are really popular. Yes, probably the most famous in yes, Italy. Yes, exactly. And today we're going to visit another one, they are less famous, but so beautiful. So if you want to check uh, Cascate del Molino, click up here. <laughs> but now let's have breakfast. We just bought brioche with crema chantilly, with the chantilly cream. I couldn't resist. Let's have breakfast and then let's hit the road. And then we hit the road. Necropolis, Sovana, archaeological site, third to first centuries before Christ. This is what we, we saw just beside the road. Necropolis. Tombs, uh, they used to put uh, and celebrate uh, the death of that people. landscape in Tuscany is the absolute protagonist. Everywhere you go you have these farmhouses, sunflower fields, olive trees, vineyards, abandoned and ghostly villages, necropolis, archaeological sites everywhere so it is really beautiful and even if you don't go anywhere specific it's, it's worth the trip because everywhere you look there is something beautiful to watch. These are just few elements that form the 
fantastic, incredible landscape of Valle d'Orcia. On this road uh, we are exactly, on our left uh, is Tuscany and on our right uh, is Lazio, two regions of Italy. We are on the border. Exactly. Here. Tuscany, Lazio. Tuscany. You are in Tuscany, I'm in Lazio. Great. Uh, <laughs> Now, 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 now. We arrived in Bagni di San Filippo in province of Siena. We are changing ourselves now and we will start walking down. We will bring you with us. Tuscany has a lot of hot water springs. They were known for their curative purposes since Etruscan and Roman times. We are going to visit now the hot springs of San Filippo. They are just outside the little town of Bagni San Filippo in Val d'Orcia. And it seems that you are in another world. The good fact is that there is an easy path along the river that you can follow to reach White Whale. And we will discover together why it's called it like this. Let's go. Are you ready, Luca? Yes. Ready to go. Let's go. So we found a, a parking for free up there. There. We just need to walk a little bit more, but we like to walk. <laughs> it's a beautiful hike in the middle of the pine trees, so it's nice, beautiful. Also the access to the pools, to the hot water springs, is for free. Blue lines in Italy means that you have to pay for the parking. White is for free. But uh, there are some uh, white and yellow lines that are for only residents. So you need to check the signs anyway. Because there are also some white spots where you only can park for 30 minutes, one hour. Depends on uh, what the sign is telling you. Usually yellow are for different purposes. It can be for uh, people with disability, only residents or a quick stop. So you need to check what the sign says. We start seeing the first pools. These rock formations, it remembers us a little bit like Yerve Lagua. Yeah. In Mexico, this our one. video. These are calcium formations. That video went viral. It's over 3.8 million views. Crazy video. So you can follow the path and you will find several pools up and down following the river. They are hot. Hot? I have to say that I prefer hot springs in autumn or winter time because I have really low blood pressure. Now we are in summer, so when it's hot outside and the water is hot, then it's too much. But it's always nice to see and to, and to experience something like this. Yes, better. I prefer it in autumn, in fall, it's better. But uh, since we were here, we wanted to see them, so if we want, we can come back in October, November and enjoy them. There is a lot of space, so even if you want to have your privacy, stay alone, uh, far away from people, you just follow the river and you choose uh, which pool you like more. And this is the white whale. waterfalls what do you think about it do you like it beautiful i like the colors wow up there you can see the water the waterfall Thank you. 
There is a cave and then Sara up there. Hide the water. I want to go over there with Sara. So I will need to cross. Oh yes. This water is spectacular. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. Let's go there with Sarita. There is a waterfall just here. And the cave, uh, and there is this pool, hot water pool, over the cave. Let's go over there. Whoa. Wow. Wow, this is... This is nice. Yes. Beautiful. Do you remember the Tolantongo hot springs in Mexico? Tolantongo hot springs. We didn't visit them, but I remember some pictures that are really similar to this one. Wow! <laughs> and the smell is not so strong. You know, when you're visiting hot springs, you have this sulfur, rotten eggs, smell <laughs> <laughs> and here you can you can smell when, when you are yes. yeah, arriving but here probably because you are getting used after a while but it's amazing okay so guys uh, we will stay here two hours uh, we don't know if we would like to visit Monte Pulciano or Montalcino because there are three jewels of the Valle d'Orcia Monte Pulciano, Montalcino and Pienza. So we will have dinner in one of these three locations. Wake up at your place. Wake up at mine. Same question always. I'm getting tired. And we have our own water coming from up here, so it's not the water that all the other pools uh, are using with other people, so it's nice and clean. And what I like the most is that you have sand, so it's not uh, slippery, it's not the gross, you know, yes. it's, it's perfect. We are hiking to Luigi back home, we are starving. There are more swimming pools over here. That is full. Very nice and enjoyable time here. We are moving Luigi from the road here inside and this is our spot for lunch and a little siesta shower shower time okay so on that side complete and on the other side i have to put it from the inside okay because otherwise i will be stuck outside the mess. We are eating some fish today. It's with tomatoes and basil. And some salad. Mm. 
delicious and I love to eat everything with grissini <laughs> there are these uh, breadsticks uh, that are really common here in Italy grissini stop kitchen in the wood nature some neighbors yeah from France another car from Italy because we discover that you can reach the hot springs the pools just walking yeah. the trail down there the one that we mm -hmm. did it coming back to lucky see to Luigi <laughs> and after lunch we are leaving this amazing spot in the woods in Bagni di San Filippo and we decided to go towards Monte Pulciano to see the sunset and have dinner there Guys, we had to stop because uh, from the road uh, we spot a beautiful location that reminds us uh, of uh, Kasha Katue National Monument. Uh, and uh, I had to stop and uh, fly the drone because it's, it's beautiful with this uh, ruin on the top of the hill. So let's show you. Italy is incredible because from the morning to the evening to the night just driving for two or three hours you can pass by so many different landscapes we we woke up at the sea in the morning then we went to the hot springs now we see this kind of rock formations cypresses it's magical and now we are going to visit a medieval town everything in 24 hours it's incredible This is the temple of San Biagio, in Monte Pulciano.
We arrive in Montepulciano. We found a free parking spot for Luigi. With a beautiful shade of this olive tree. And now we will walk up. Yes. To the old city center. Medieval city center. Temperature is great today. A little bit of mosquitoes. But they will not stop us. We're entering the town. My prince. My princess, please come in. I don't know if you can see how steep this is. Fortezza. The fortress of Montepulciano was mentioned as early as 715 after Christ, but we are not sure whether it was built here on the remains of an Etruscan Roman temple or simply because the point was strategic for the control of the Val di Chiana and the Val d'Orcia. It is now home to the Consorzio del Vino Nobile di Montepulciano. The Niloteca wine and oil shop and then archaeological site, free entry. Kansas State University. So there is also a university here. Wow, are you afraid of walking Ooh. on this glass? Montepulciano is really famous for its red wine. So here is also a wine shop. You can see how many different wines. This is the first time I see something like this. It's a dispenser of wine. Yes, you choose which one you like and then you buy. So basically the archaeological site, the shop is built on the archaeological site. Exactly. You walk uh, on top of the... it's amazing. This is a huge storage. I cannot see how deep it is because you cannot see the end of it. It's too dark. But uh, they think this was to store um, food. Uh, and then we have this huge, really deep silos uh, down here. And here is where they used to store the water from the rain uh, to use it uh, then uh, during the year. So you can see how deep they were. And there are many of these uh, all, of, all under the, the fortezza. Picci, it's a kind of pasta typical of this area. Picci Senesi means from Siena. Extra virgin olive oil. Cantucci, these are some cookies. Then ragù, sugo. Gems. and wine of course. The many residences and buildings you can admire while walking through the historical city center of Montepulciano still testify the wealth and the power of the noble families living here in the 14th and 15th centuries. Although it is in the 16th century that Montepulciano reached its maximum splendor under the powerful Medici family. We are arriving in Piazza Grande, meaning the big square, where you can find the palace, the building of the town hall, the church of Santa Maria Assunta, and then you can see a very beautiful well with the, the Medici shield in the middle. It's called Pozzo dei Grifi e dei Leoni.
This is Pulcinella Tower. And this is Sant'Agostino Church. Chiesa di Santa Lucia. Let's run to dinner. Yes, let's go. Guarda che bello. We are going to have dinner in a typical osteria trattoria that is called La Pentolaccia. We need to hike, 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 hike. So we will feel more satisfied to eat our dinner after a workout. Of course. It was fully booked. Luckily, they have uh, just one uh, person that uh, had to cancel the reservation. So we have a spot between 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. <laughs> so we need to rush, get there. It's uh, in five minutes will be 8 p.m. So we need to run there. So we have our spot for dinner because this place is always fully booked. So you need to call in advance. Uh, yeah. Even tomorrow, after tomorrow, it's really busy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Bread. Water. But uh, I'm not a wine lover, but if you are a wine lover, you need, uh, this is the place for you. You need to try wines here. Are you hungry? Yeah. No, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> we yes. have peachy with ragu toscano. Peachy is this kind of pasta that is typical from this area. And ragu toscano is a ragu with uh, different kind of meat. And then we have a tagliata with uh, parmesan cheese some radicchio and spinach with garlic and oil. And then pane toscano is um, bread without salt because you used to eat this with a lot of extra virgin olive oil. Obviously you need to put a lot of parmesan cheese and um, we would like to say we are not eating meat usually but uh, since now we are traveling and uh, Part of the experience of traveling is to taste uh, the local food. When we were at the beach, uh, we eat uh, some fish, uh, and now that we are in this part of Tuscany where the meat uh, is a, a really strong uh, part of the, of the culture, of the culinary experience, uh, we decided to, to make uh, this uh, strappo alla regola, we say in Italian. What does it mean? <laughs> This has been also our attitude during our expedition from Alaska to Argentina. We ate worms, we ate something that you cannot believe. We tried any kind of meat, vegetables, fruits that we don't like, but we, you need to try at least once to say, okay. Some drinks and beverage oh, yeah, uh, that was... Uh... Sometimes terrible, sometimes very good, but it's part, as Luca said, of the experience. You never culture. know until you taste it. Exactly. Buon okay. appetito. Let's dig in. Buon appetito. You never do this in Italy. Cut the no, pasta. No, but you do it when you are sharing. Okay. You do it when you are Sara. I want to taste everything. Like I said in the previous video, eat everything and wonder. <laughs> this is the green gold. Mm. And we'll end like the meal with a tortino al cioccolato. This uh, tortino al cioccolato with the gelato. So we have, cake. yes, ice Gelato. cream. So this is for me and this is for you. Okay, so we'll go like this. Yes. Ooh, soft. And dinner was delicious. We paid 30 euro. That it's for dinner, the price is really accessible, inexpensive, and we eat very well, but very local. Yes, it's considering dessert. that it's a touristic place here in Italy, it's really low, low price. Yes. And uh, now we can just enjoy the temperature. It's perfect right now. It is not so dark. And now it's super romantic because it's, windy, it's full of it's lights. Beautiful. We can uh, walk around uh, 
Guarda che bello. Italy is the only place in the world, I believe, where the clothes that you are hanging outside your windows and your doors and your houses, they are pretty and romantic to see, right? Yes. <laughs> Wow, and the main plaza, the main square is so beautiful at night. Yes, I think it's even better right now, <laughs> about 9 p.m. I think <laughs> about 9 p.m. is even better. Are you Batman? You transformed your voice. I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. Sarita, I'm coming. I will be waiting you. For today is everything we hope you liked uh, today's video if so please share to us smashing that thumbs up button hit the notification bell and please consider to subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't done already it's for free it's easy it's probably really simple for you and it means a lot to us yes uh, the italian words for today's video are balena bianca white whale acqua calda hot water campeggio camping Balena bianca, white whale, acqua calda, hot water, campeggio, camping. We love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us, stay with us. Because, because. Uh, next Sunday we will be back home at Lucky Land, we will check our plants, uh, our garden. Uh, build something maybe. Yes, maybe build something really quick and then... Uh, we will hit the road again for new adventures. So only one video in, at Lucky Land and then we will hit the road again uh, because we have new adventure, amazing adventure, exciting adventures to share with you guys. So see you next Sunday. Remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Così, così. Provini qua da questa. The previous video, go and check it out that uh, remind us uh, that remind us uh, about uh, that remind us uh, but today we are going so today we were we will look and now we will have breakfast okay, we are looking for <laughs> it's in province that is mm. Tuscany has a lot of hot spring for hot water springs we have our... Over 45 minutes? No. Half an hour? No. 15 minutes maybe. Uh. Perfect. Piazza Grande. Haya. 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 Ginormous. This was stronger than my head. We paid 30 euro. Sorry. I will find you in the UEG. I will follow you.